Hey, it's Tim Piles from 91X FTW New Music Show. We got George here from the Crooks. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, Tim. You're a little sweaty. Just a little bit, yeah. Well, you've just caught me five minutes after coming off stage. It's, this tends to be my look. Because you rock. You guys are great. Thank you very much. Yeah, we had a good time tonight. It's, it's lovely to be back in San Diego, and we've been cooped up in the van for like nine hours today, so it's such a nice feeling to be able to step on stage and just, you know, expel all of that excess energy thing. you've got. Exactly, yeah. In a church tonight. You said it was weird to play in a church tonight? I don't know. It wasn't weird. It was, it was great. I mean, we've played, we've been touring for years and years, so we've, you tend to play some quite yeah. strange places, but... Um, so we played, we played in, you know, former army barracks, like little communes before, you know, like old crappy pubs and stuff sure. like that. But we've never played anything like, like we did tonight. It was, yeah, it was an experience, definitely. Where else have you played in San Diego? Do you, do you remember particular shows playing here? Yeah, we've done, um, I think we played it twice before tonight. So this was our, this was our, our hat trick of San Diego shows. Uh, we've done House of Blues before. Yeah. yeah. Did you play the Casbah before? Does that sound familiar? No, I don't think we've been to the Casbah before, okay. no. Alright, gotta get there sometime. Yeah, well, we'll try, we hope to be back, so yeah, maybe next time. Well, congratulations, you got a new record, it's called Lucky Ones. Just came out, what, in January, end of January? January the 29th, yeah. Um, first one to be released on our own label, Anywhere Records. It's a big deal. It's a big deal, it's a very big deal, yeah. We finished recording it uh, summer 2015, and so we had a six month period where we were thinking, how are we going to put it out, what's going to happen with it, and we were so proud of it, and it, we, it had taken so much out of us to make that record, that when it finally came around to us founding Anywhere Records and releasing it, and then for it to have the reaction that it's got, which has just been so sort of you know heartwarming really uh it's awesome. it's, it's been it's been a great sort of few months for us we're really really positive yeah it's like your fourth album yeah fourth album it, and we did like a seven track ep before the yeah. first one as well so uh <laughs> your writing set list is quite difficult these days because you write down all the songs and there's something like 45 to to choose from now so it's good to have to pick come on yeah we'd rather be like that than in the old days when we play five songs a gig and you know yeah. play for 12 did minutes did you ever but, do covers in the beginning yeah, we did covers. We uh, the second, I think maybe the second gig we, we ever did was for the um, the Sheffield University Film Society, okay. and they paid us in old sandwiches. <laughs> um, these I remember the very warm tuna sandwiches they gave us as payment, <laughs> and we did a cover of uh, "Come Up and See Me," um, "Make Me Smile" by Steve Harley and the Cockley Rebel. Okay. Um, Thankfully, I don't think any video or audio evidence of that exists. We also did a, a cover of Hips Don't Lie by Shakira. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and similarly, I'm, I don't think there's any evidence of that. Um, but yeah, we, we, covers, covers are great. I mean, we did, a, we did a cover of Boys Don't Cry just recently, which was amazing oh, cool. fun. I actually played drums on that, which was really good fun. Nice. Um, so yeah, it's nice to do covers because you kind of find yourself learning things from other bands. Um, I say learning, more like, you know, yeah. stealing from other bands but um yeah so what bands inspired you when you were a, a young lad in sheffield to to want to do what you're doing now and be so good at it really i think um well i think it's probably the same story as a lot of, pe lot of people in bands it was my dad really who first got me into okay. music so um i grew up with beatles kinks elvis costello um crowded house but not, okay. not particularly a cool reference but i think you know melodic oh, great band. melodically i think you know that big influence um and i suppose when i was sort of 15 16 that was when i properly started to find my own stuff okay. rather than just nicking my dad's stuff so it was people like libertines and the Vines was my first ever gig in 2002, and it was it was. Uh, How awesome is that band? Are you still? The Vines. Yeah, yeah. Do you, I mean, underrated, and and that guy, hmm. genius. I mean, they they mix Nirvana and the Beatles to yeah. like perfection. I, I just love that band. I'm uh, very happy you said that. I've still got the the T-shirt, the bootleg T-shirt that I bought from the car park floor outside the gig for five quid. Nice. When I was 14, I still wear it, and I think they're just about to release a new record. I heard someone sent me a link to it today, oh, cool. so. I've, I yeah. saw Craig had some other side, no, another new band. It's not like the Vines, but yeah. he, at least he's still making music, which makes me happy because oh. getting on the road for him was a little difficult, I think, with some of his mental uh, health. or He did have some health issues. so yeah. His shows were hit or miss, but I loved it. It was like it was always rock and roll to me. Yeah, absolutely. And that's I think that's what you want from a gig, isn't it? I mean, if 
sometimes you, with bands you might see an incredible show and the next time you see them they might not be on song but you, you'd probably rather that than just go see a band that's just going to be solid oh, every time yeah. and just go through the motions yeah. i think that there's nothing that's why worse I hate backing tracks now you know yeah. bands are just there's no live element you know mm. it's not rock and roll anymore i mean that's it's that the unpredictability yeah. exactly yeah. that's what makes it great this one's called i wouldn't waste my time
you very much. Have a wonderful night.